above the screen. Enemy UAV overhead. You know, that is so amazing. So today's product I am pretty excited about. As many of you may know, I'm I'm a pretty big video gamer and also I really like LED light strips. So I have one in my living room around my TV, but special thanks to Singled, who was nice enough to send me this smart Wi-Fi TV light strip. Now, as you may can tell by the picture, it uses a little device that goes on top of your camera that's able to display the colors around your TV to match. So you see like blues on the one side and greens on the other side. That is what is amazing about this. Lots of gamers really like these for their computer monitors and for their big screen TVs. And so I am super excited to get one of these. So super special thanks to Singled. We're gonna get on the overhead rig, go through the unboxing, then we'll go through the setup process. And then I'm gonna put this on my TV and uh, we're gonna see how it works. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out the Singled Smart Wi-Fi LED strip. All right, so let's open up our Singled Smart Wi-Fi LED TV light strip with video sync. As I was mentioning before, there's literally like a little camera that's able to see the colors and then tells the LED strip what colors to display. It custom fits screens, 70 to 85 inches. They do make a few different versions of this for smaller screens as well. So uh, this one, you know, I have a 65 inch. So that's what I requested from Singled since they were sending this to me. And it does work with Alexa and of course, Google Assistant, which I love that. Just their logo on the top, Singled. Nothing but a barcode on the bottom. The side kind of gives you an idea, you know, easy setup, no need for extra cables or hookups. Versatile, use on any TV input, gaming, streaming, DVD, and more because it's literally using the camera to see the screen. Brilliant, extend immersive colors from your screen onto your wall, which I think is just amazing. And of course, there's a Singled app that you'll download from the App Store or Google Play Store. This side tells you a little bit about what's inside. The 15.7 uh, foot light strip, power adapter, video sync lens with mounting track clips and cleaning pads, as well as a reset pin. And they're right here in Alpharetta, Georgia. I found that very cool, honestly. <laughs> and in the back, app control, voice control, and as you see, an ordinary light is just one color, but this one will be multiple colors. I'm gonna definitely try to find some uh, something to show this off, some kind of image or photo, and even play some video games and see uh, what that kind of looks like. And it says, designed with your privacy in mind, all image processing is done locally on the device with a color detecting lens that hooks right, right into the light strip. And so the camera mounts to the top of your screen, wide angle lens captures colors on different parts of your screen and instantly reflects those colors on the wall. So let's open this up and see what we got here. Oh, there's another one. I was like, why is it not opening? There we go. All right, so they got some Support information if you're having issues, and then, and also shows you how to kind of put it on. So, so you can either start from bottom left or start from bottom right. Okay, very cool. Now for all the fun stuff, we've got, um, yeah, so this is the alcohol pads to clean your screen and stuff. Well, not your screen, the back of your TV. And then that reset pin, as well as some clips for the LED strip, the adhesive and stuff. Oh, that's it for that. Then we've got, is this the camera? No, this is the power adapter. All right, logo on it, love it. And this is the nice little power adapter to give the LED strip as well as the little camera power. And this is just an empty box. So this must be the camera. I can see the LED strips there. There it is, I'll peel that off once I get it set up, but yes, you can see, looks like your plug actually goes in here and then your LED strip even plugs in here. And then this is made just to sit right on top of your TV with the double-sided tape there. It goes there and then boom, it's set up and using that camera to see your screen so it can put the right colors in place. I think this is a really awesome, unique item. And then lastly is the LED strip. So. Like I was saying, this, yeah, this plugs into here and then that plugs into that, okay? And this is the LED strip. I'm not gonna roll this out until, you know, I'm setting it up. 
that is the LED strip, all nicely wound up and ready to go. Very nice packaging here by them. Really digging this. And that's, uh, that's it for the box. So I think if anything, we should probably put this up first and then I'll go through the setup process. So let's get this on our 65 inch 4K TV in the living room and get this set up for you. So excited for this. Thank you, Singled. All right, so I have this uh, non-cool, unsmart. Well, it is smart, but it's not like it's not like the uh, singlet version. So I'm going to unhook, and we're gonna get this one removed off the TV, the old one. So now that that's removed, I have put my double-sided tape on the camera here, removed my little sticker, and I'm gonna find the center of my TV by the logo and put this right in the center so here is the uh, part this part plugs into the camera and then you have this much of the string without led lights to uh whether you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise around your tv so the next thing i have to do since this is a 65 inch tv i've got to cut this down from 15 feet to 11.7 right at 12 feet basically so I've laid this out and measured out four feet, which will be right here. So I'm gonna cut it right here. Can you cut it, buddy? You gonna cut it for me? No? Okay. And there we go. That's the bit of cable that uh, we won't need. So now I'm gonna plug the LED strip into the back of the camera. And I think I'm gonna go clockwise around the TV. I think that's just simpler. Then it seems like I'll go through the app setup and that is how I'll determine exactly which direction I went. So I've plugged my cable in, ran my cable down, and started here on the bottom left, and I'm working my way all the way around the TV. So there we go. I've ran it from here, and it made it all the way around and down to right back there at about in the middle. So now we're ready to plug in our power cable, and then we can install the app and go through the setup process to actually set this up. All right, so this is the app that you've got to download. Find this on the Play Store or App Store. Download the app, create you an account, and log in, and then we'll go through the setup process. Nice and easy app setup. Literally one in my email address. It then sent me a link. I verified the link, and then I created a password. So we're going to click Add Device, and we have Wi-Fi devices, no hub required. Make sure at least one logo on your... So, uh, yeah, yeah, we got that. All right, so we'll allow this while using the app. Power on the devices and make sure the devices are in pairing mode. All right, let's power it up and then do that. So the power cable for everything seems to be long enough. I got mine plugged in right there and it reaches up here. It's probably five-ish feet, but now I'm gonna plug this into the camera and then we'll continue the setup process. Well, the light instantly cut on as soon as I plugged it in. So let's get it in the pairing mode. Ooh, and that should be pairing mode. Yeah. All right, let's get in the pairing mode and set it up. Now it sounds like that the device should be automatically discovered. So we're just gonna click search devices and hopefully it'll find our LED strip. If not, we will reset the device and then it should pull up, which it found it, look at that. Perfect, so connect, and now it wants my Wi-Fi information. So it's got my Wi-Fi info, and now it will hopefully connect the TV LED strip to my Wi-Fi. All right, we'll click connect, and it looks like I'm kind of Bluetoothing to this. Oh yeah, oh, look at it, now it's doing its thing. So it's connecting to the Wi-Fi now. We'll let it go through its setup process. And so there we go, it's on the Wi-Fi. We'll click next, and it is officially on my Wi-Fi network because there's the pop-up. So now it is wondering, so now we've already did all this, so we'll click next. Ca our camera is at the top of the TV, so we'll click confirm. And we did do clockwise, so we'll click confirm there as well. And now it is refreshing the picture. Drag the four blue circles to the four corners of the TV, then drag the top center circle to the top center of the TV screen. Keep the camera steady and ensure that you can capture every corner of the TV. All right, and these just kind of nicely move. So let me kind of put them in place. I think that's about as close as I'm gonna get, so I'll click submit, and there we go. One device added. I'm not gonna worry with the room. We'll skip that. Well, here, let me set up a room and uh living room next next there we go now it's in there I'm done 
All right, so also this does work, of course, with Google Home and Alexa, so I don't need the guide for this. I will go through that setup process later, but for now, I'll skip that. Let me control it as a group. Nice. All right, cool. Custom scenes, cool. Schedules and wake-ups, cool. All right, so it seems that if I, if I just hit this button, we've got some controls here, so 100%, I can turn them off. There we go, and turn it back on, and then there's whites, whites, colors, effects, etc. There's also a little settings gear up here, which uh, just has the name and stuff. So it is officially set up. Now let's try out a movie and a video game to see what it looks like. So I can definitely see, I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but like when there's the red over here from this, uh, from these roses, it's showing some light red on this side, but the most of it is blue. What we're gonna have to do is, I'm gonna pick like a Fast and Furious movie to not get copy striked. I'm gonna only show a few seconds of that to try and display some of this, and then I'll play a video game and try to show the same thing. Let's give it a shot. Do you like that? Right. We gotta try the video game though. Going to run this firmware upgrade, and then I'll add it into Google Home, and then we'll try out a video game. And also, at the top, you don't really notice the camera. like. I mean, it's there, but it's not in the way of a screen or anything. It's just kind of out of the way, doing what it needs to do. I can say, though, the default, like, black color seems to just be blue. You may not be able to really tell from my iPhone here, but it's blue. So, here's another good example. You can actually see it jumping around the colors. When Eva Marie comes on, her hair is so red that it lights up red. Blue. See? See the red up there? <laughs> Very, very nice. Dying to see it. Definitely uh, matching the colors, I'd say. That was good. Yeah, that was perfect. See, so, yeah, yellow above the screen. And then red above the screen. Enemy UAV overhead. That is so amazing. And also, uh, you can use these to uh, to hold the uh, cable. And so that should do it for the Singled Smart Wi-Fi TV light strip. I really, really like this thing. I think you could see it best really in the video game where I was, you know, under the yellow and then under the red and under the blue. It does seem that like the basic color for dark is just blue. And for whatever reason, my TV seems to show a lot of colors blue. So hopefully you were able to actually see how this works. It is a really, really cool item especially for a gamer. So again, special thanks to Singled for sending this to me so I could make this video for you all. I'll of course have this exact product linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one of these for your TV at your house. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.